Welcome gamers, Jason back to play more Ori and the Blind Forest here on Total Toys TV. And we will be heading through Hollow Grove here in this episode. So let's head in. Okay, it's unstable. So do I not step on that? Boom. I'll let him do it. So we're going to need to lower that for sure. So we have lowered that. We will come back to that. That is absolutely helpful. Uh, there's a few other things, though, that we want to take care of before we head back up there. We want to be able to get through these walls. Alright, so we want to absorb this light. You've learned Charge Flame. To use this ability, hold X to charge and then release X to detonate and damage everything in proximity. So that's pretty cool. And that is something that now allows us to go to things like this. We hold down X. We let it go and we can now get through those walls. Now there is still a lot of walls that we're not going to be able to get through. Uh, we can also go up to these things and do the same thing. So that's a new learned skill that we need and now we have it. It makes these even that much more important to make sure that we're gathering. So. Uh, now we are ready to go up here and that thing that we lowered before, we want to get up there and we'll be able to get up there because we've lowered it. Make sense? This guy is scary. Look at the spikes on this guy. All right, so the way that we're gonna have to get this is very slowly because they multiply in a pretty uh, lethal way. So we really want to stay up on the tree. You kind of want to fight them as you're running away. That is the best way to attack those guys. So it's really helpful that we can now destroy some of these walls. 
We do have an ability, so I am going to go and add to my abilities. Let's do this, since I don't have anything from that line of the tree. That's frightening. All right, so right there it showed it's just a huge like spider colony nest. And it also went above it because we have to break the rock there. We want to chop down that huge thing. Uh, there are some other things we probably should take care of. This is actually not one of them. We will get down to this area. That area is, if you try to go down there, you will die. So we don't want to go down there. Not yet anyways. We want to go up here. Come on. Come on, Ori. There we go. Now we can't get through that door, so don't even try. That's a waste of your time. So here is this huge spider colony. This nest we want that we want to get down. Yeah, he can climb it, it's not gonna hurt him. Now we can get through there, which we do want to go ahead and do. But in order to do that, we need more power. We need more energy. Which we can get right up there. Uh, but first, we're going to go through the door. Now, this area is a little bit tricky. You just don't have a lot of room for air, but we do want to get that life cell down there. Not the ideal way to do it, but we get a lot of... We got a lot of uh, life there, so not my best jumping ability. All right, so we do have a little bit of energy, so now we can break this. Boom. Yeah, now it's down there, and you're going to want to just kind of fall down there. And you'll land right on it. Alright, so I should have saved my game, so we're going to have to do that all over again. Alright, so what we want to do here is we want to knock down that big spider colony deal. That's what we want to do here. Take care of that spider quick. Now this energy door here, you cannot open it, so don't even try. You'll be wasting your time. And you can hop right up here on this nest, it's not going to hurt you. First thing we want to do is open up that door, or blow up that door, which we're going to need a little energy to do. Our little charge flame. So now we can do that. Now we're going to need to do this again up here to knock down the spider nest. But first we want to come over here and gather a couple things. to get the life cell so you don't have to do this but you kind of want to because it's going to make things easier another couple tough jumps here that i did not make luckily i have a good amount of life left whoa no all right come on come on up there we go oh Oh! Alright, so now there is a couple of jumps left here that we want to 
take care of. That's not a good way to do it. All right, we want to backflip. Oh. Now we got a couple of jumps here that we want to take care of that are not that easy. There we go. And so now it's time to knock this down. I still need to get some more energy though. So what we're gonna do, we need to go and pick up some energy for sure before we move on. So kind of go off the board here and then this will regenerate. Pick that up, now we can do what we need to do. Knock that down. Yeah, look down. All right, so you just kind of want to fall down here and you will land right on there. Alright, so what we want to do now is take our charge flame, or knock that down, and then you really just kind of want to fall down here, and you will land right on it. Take care of the spider quick. There we go. And then you do not want to fall in this water here. You will die. You have an ability point, so we're going to go ahead, add to our ability tree. There we go. That was close. That was very, very close. Now these are little wind plants are pretty cool. They allow you to jump really high. Now this tree right here, you can't do anything, you don't use your charge flame, you'll be wasting it. You cannot do anything with that, so what you really just want to do is use these and pop up here. Here we have a map stone. We need to find the map stone fragment.
So that is now our objective. Now let's look at the map. Uh, we can see where the map stone fragment is. There it is right there. So that's where we got to go. You just kind of want to destroy all of these as you're jumping here. Do not try to like go into that area. Come up here. We don't actually have a charge flame, so we can't get that at this point. Now, if you do this just right, you can actually do that and not get any damage at all. We could go down that way, but that's not really what we want to do right now. We want to get that fragment, which is down there. You can see it down below on the right of the screen. I kind of want to flip right in there. So there we go. So now we need to take it back, back to our map stone. Which is right here. So we've unlocked that. Ouch. And there we go. So that was what we were trying to do, trying to get out of Hollow Grove and into Thornfelt Swamp. And so now we have done that. So I want to thank you guys all for joining us here on Total Toys TV as we work our way through.